This is Model Me, a biomes activity, and students are required to, in teams, learn this whole sequence and put this whole uh, set of materials together to demonstrate that they understand what protein synthesis, uh, synthesis is all about. It's important that they know that because it is DNA changes or mRNA copying changes that actually um, demonstrate what happens with evolution. Um, so a need in a cell for a protein arises, and this section of DNA, and this is a complementary strand of DNA, you can see that th thymine pairs with adenine and cytosine pairs with guanine, those pairs are always the same. So when that need arises, the section of our uh, a DNA that codes for that protein unzips, and what happens is messenger RNA comes into the nucleus. So this table is the nucleus. Comes into the nucleus, and because of a chemical um, affinity for each one of these base pairs, you see that the mRNA pairs up. The big difference is instead of having um, opposite adenine, you have uracil. And this is really critical because it's because this mRNA, which really looks almost like a DNA strand, um, has the same nucleotide bases except for uracil pairs with adenine. That allows it to go out the nuclear pore. Otherwise, you don't want your DNA um, leaving the nucleus. If it leaves the nucleus, you're in big trouble. So it pairs up, it copies one side of the DNA that um, codes for the protein, and then it moves away from the DNA, and the DNA zips back up. So after it's left the DNA, what happens is the exons, um, which are good pieces of the mRNA that codes for the protein are left. The introns are pulled out or cut away, and it gets reassembled into the mRNA that actually codes for a protein. It leaves the nucleus and begins, and that process was called transcription. This process is translation. It goes to the ribosomal RNA, and it reads a codon, which is 3 mRNA. It, that causes a tRNA that's complementary to bring its protein, which is this paper, to the ribosomal RNA. Then the next set of codons is read, which brings the second tRNA that matches up with these codons. This, this is an anticodon, matches up with the mRNA um, anticodons. When this, these two proteins link together, it releases the first tRNA to go and pick up another protein. This tRNA is specific to this protein. Then the process continues. It reads the next codon, calls for the next transfer RNA, which links up to this protein chain, releasing that tRNA to go for another protein. Then the ribosomal RNA continues to read the next codon. And as soon as those, these two link up, it releases this first codon. Then it comes to the very last part of this tRNA, which is called a stop codon. There is no, there's, there's no, this, this codon is a stop codon, and there's no tRNA that brings a protein. Because, so what happens is this 
protein then is released from the mRNA. The mRNA leaves the ribosome, actually breaks apart to be reused again to make another mRNA strand when a protein is required. So you have a protein strand here, and it looks linear. But what happens is there are chemical interactions between these, and they get processed by the um, endoplasmic reticulum, and they actually turn and revolve along themselves. You can't really show it here because this is a flat. That is protein synthesis. And the whole purpose, these proteins make you look exactly how you look.